This is the coast of South East Scotland, rather off the usual tourist routes and just a few miles north of the border with England. But this contains one of the most important locations in world science, a rocky promontory that changed how we view time and the age of our planet. I'm on a short pilgrimage to Sicker Point, regularly voted the world's single most influential geosite. For some, it's where the science of geology began in earnest. But this is not only a journey back to the origins of the science of geology, it's also a look at how geologists build an understanding of the Earth by deductive reasoning. This is the hero of our story, James Hutton, seen here in a classic portrait, along with his text that describes how he viewed the world. The classic historical representation of the geology was actually drawn by a young James Hall, who accompanied Hutton on a visit to the rocks. This sketch shows two distinct geological units and an irregular contact between them. These lower rocks have distinctly steep layering just as seen in outcrop these are a type of sandstone historically known as grey wackies and the steep layering makes for fin-shaped promontories poking out into the north sea but they're distinctly different rocks on top red sandstones there's the contact running across the cliff but what does this mean Time for a closer look. When Hutton visited here with James Hall and another friend, John Playfair, they came by boat and looking down to the rocks you can see why for the landward approach is down this steep grassy slope with very slippy soil and in early spring like now the steps are very slippery but there's an old rope you can use as a handrail so you've got to take care getting down to the rocks it's much easier when the ground is drier in summer which is when most visitors come. But even then, this isn't for the faint-hearted. But it's worth the scramble, because at the foot of the grassy bank is a broad platform, and it's this that gives access to really great little sections that we can explore together. Seeing what James Hutton and friends saw nearly 250 years ago, So we've got these rocks here, which are stood on end, and they're sealed or capped by these gently dipping strata coming through me here. A distinct boundary of rocks of different orientations. Let's keep exploring. So in the 1780s, James Hutton discovered these outcrops. They're really dramatic and simple. And he had a flash of inspiration, the desire to tell a story of how the geology formed. It's not just about the relationship of the rocks that we see today, but what they tell us about Earth history. He recognized that the rocks that I'm sat on here started life not vertical but horizontal and that they've been steepened up by deformation after their deposition then those steep rocks were eroding down creating a land surface like this and on that land surface younger rocks were deposited building up the succession 
that's in that little cliff behind me. So what Hutton realised is that the geological story involved cycles, cycles of deposition, deformation and erosion, repeating to build up the history of our planet, at least as recorded at the Earth's surface. It's a fundamental insight. So here's the outcrop, gently dipping red sandstones, sitting on top of the steeply dipping grey wacky sandstones. And so we can build up a story. Grey wackies laid down horizontally, perhaps on some ancient seabed. Then these strata were crumpled up into folds. So in places, the once horizontal layers are now stood on end. Then erosion, cutting deeply into the folded grey wackies, leaving a land surface onto which these younger red sandstones could be deposited layer on layer. Then the whole lot tilted again and erosion to leave the rocks on the modern landscape and the outcrops we find today. And the reason this is so important, not only historically back in the 18th century, but it remains important today. It gives a glimpse into the sheer length of the geological time scale. Earth history can't be measured in thousands of years as interpretations of the Bible might imply, but no. Earth history may stretch back millions of years, or as Hutton might put it, he could see no vestige of a beginning and no prospect of an end. We observe, make simple interpretations and then build a history that tells of geological processes through deductive reasoning. But it's built on careful observations. In the following centuries, further knowledge was developed. The strata tied to a geological time scale. The contact, the former land surface, is a feature called an unconformity, a break in the geological record here, during which time the grey wackies were folded, uplifted and then eroded down. By knowing the absolute age of the strata, we can bracket that time gap and it's around 70 million years. The great feature of these outcrops at Sicca Point is that we can see evidence for the processes that operated on that old landscape represented by the unconformity. So we can leave the famous view behind. Well actually, in many ways this is more informative because we see more of the three dimension structure of the unconformity here with the red rocks on top, Upper Devonian in age and these rocks just behind me that I'm almost sitting on, these are Silurian, significantly older. And we can see them pop out on the far side over here, coming up rather like little hills beneath or within this old landscape that then is buried by the Devonian. The former land surface was craggy little rocky cliffs and we can see the rock fragments or old scree or talus fragments shed from that landscape and now encased in the red sandstones. Erosional processes frozen in time from around 400 million years ago then buried by slightly younger red sandstones. Well, these steep Silurian rocks, they achieve this orientation essentially in the run up to and then following the collision between two continental blocks, Laurentia in the north and Avalonia in the south. That's if you like Scotland in the north, England in the south. So these rocks tell of an act of geological union and it's sealed 
stratigraphically by these Devonian strata which cover the join. So that, if you like, are the geopolitics around these outcrops. So that's Sicker Point, a journey back through geological time, but also through the history of geological science. For many people, this is a crucible of geological investigation, where observation and deductive reasoning were first married to create new knowledge. Part of the story of how our planet works. Certainly a great outcrop, but the access is pretty wild.